Poor, poor Republican establishment. They're doing everything they can to not have Donald Trump be their standard bearer. First they tried what? 16, 17 candidates? There was Ted Cruz, Rubio, John Kasich, uh, Huckabee, Santorum, no other Santorum. And now we have this guy, Evan McMillan or McMullen. I don't really know because nobody knows who this guy even is. Evan announced his bid with this statement. In a year where Americans have lost faith in the candidates of both major parties, it's time for a generation of new leadership to step up. It's never too late to do the right thing. And America deserves much better than either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton can offer us. I humbly offer myself as a leader who can give millions of disaffected Americans a conservative choice for president. How come you suck? All that we really know about him is that he's a conservative never Trumper who was the chief policy director of the House Republican Conference and a former CIA counterterrorism officer. Oh my God, who the hell cares? And he also worked for Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs was one of those companies whose illegal activity helped destroy our economy and ruined the lives of millions of Americans. Yes, that Goldman Sachs. So I'm just gonna talk to Evan McMullen for a second. So if you're not him, just stop watching right now. Hey moron, there are other options. Gary Johnson and Jill Stein. You aren't the only one. So don't talk about yourself like you're some big savior. Look, Ev, it's not gonna go well for you. You've been living in a bubble. You are what people call an establishment Republican. These are the people that don't really have any sway within the country anymore. Do you realize that Donald Trump already defeated 17 versions of you? You and the people around you are the establishment. You guys are out of touch with America. What you don't realize is that a large part of the reason that Donald Trump is popular is because he is not you. He is not the establishment. People don't want an establishment candidate. It's actually Hillary Clinton's biggest weakness. And the only way that she could have made it worse is if she actually worked for, say, Goldman Sachs like you have. Not to mention Gary Johnson, who's running on the Libertarian ticket, is already an option for those conservatives that don't want to vote for Donald Trump. So, Ev, I don't know what the hell you're doing. And look, Ev, it's three months from the election, and too late to get on the ballot in all 50 states. So again, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I know what you're doing. You're just trying to raise your profile. So when people hear the name Evan McMullen, they don't instead hear Eva Mendez. But I mean, good luck with that, Eva McMullen. I mean, Evan Mendez? Evan McMullen. McMillan. Mc but enough with you, Evan. Let's talk about the race. So this could potentially sure maybe hurt Donald Trump, but only really slightly. You already have Gary Johnson and Jill Stein and Hillary Clinton all taking votes away from this guy that had a shot at one point before he turned into an insane person. The only group of people that Evan's going to appeal to are the Republican establishment. A base that is shrinking by the day and already had another option in Libertarian Gary Johnson. But good luck with that, Eva Mendez. I mean, Eva, Men Eva McMullen. Eva Mendez McMullen. I have absolutely no idea what's going on.